Hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back once again, like that STD nurse who keeps ringing up to make sure that your rash is gone. We're here to bring you a roundup of showbiz news, a fun look at things from the internet, and a life lesson. And now it's time to say hello to the man who's been enjoying his nuggies on the rug. It's Mike. You've heard about my nuggies on the rug? Legendary. <laughs> You're right, it is. Um, I've been perusing the internet to find some noteworthy stories, including an update about our favourite Celine. And I have some hot showbiz news, including a story about a celebrity knitter. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast app. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name bobbing along the screen right now. Now, don't tell Lee, but I think I've got a bit of a crush on the producer. It's these lockdowns. To be honest, even you are starting to make me want to gird my loins, flip on my reversing lights and back slowly on to... Oh, whoa, whoa, stop right there. Thank you very much. I'll be having none of those shenanigans. I was only going to say back slowly into the game of the week. Game of the week. For once, the producer has made it to join us in the gallery this week. He said he's had a boring week, nothing unexpected has popped up, he's not been given anyone a hand, and so he thought he'd grease us with his presence. Hang on. Yeah, I think there's a problem with the auto cue. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I feared for a moment that this was going to be a different type of show. This week, we're going to play a new game. In radio and on television, many of the sound effects are made by Foley artists, who can create just about any sound effect needed. So we're going to ask Mike to make us some effects, and I will have a go at guessing what they are. So, off you pop to our special sound engineer's studio as we get ready to play Folly Folly. Are you ready, Lee? I am poised. Okay then. Mm. A train. It's a little bit more than just a train. Oh, a little bit more than just a train. Is it a celebrity train? It's not a celebrity no, train, it's, no. It, okay, it's, uh, I'm going to say steam train. It yeah, okay. Oh, point. It's actually a steam train arriving into a station. Oh, we're going very specific. Oh, yes, yeah, very specific. Guesses. Okay. Oh, this one's easy. You'll get this one. <laughs> the noise that you make when you go to sleep every night? No. Oh, that, that's more of a... a, a... Oh, well, okay. Um, no, <laughs> that's the noise like, after. Ah, 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 ah. A very, very ill baby in a hospital. What's it doing now? Crying. Yeah. <laughs> this is deceptively simple. <laughs> what, what is going on? <laughs> um, you've watched Finding Nemo, right? Yeah. Good. Felching Nemo, is that the same? <laughs> no. Oh, oh okay. Same. <laughs> Try. Well, think about that. Um, dude, sweet. Dude, sweet, dude, 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 sweet. I haven't a clue. It sounded that is that like a fish having a having a wank? Close. Oh. Um <laughs> Do you have your felching buddy? Not with me. Um <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Um it was... sounded like toot sweets from um toot sweets, toot sweets. <laughs> Can I pass if I don't know it? Uh, yeah, we can pass. Pass that one, I don't know. That was Turtles Making Love. Oh! Okay. <laughs> um... But it's really, really cold. Um, is it, is it, is it a penguin in the cold? A duck in the cold. Think, think about the song that it was singing. We wish you a merry duckmas. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that not it? We wish. So what? What kind of year would you? What kind of time of year would you sing that? Christmas. Okay. 
Christmas they're not, duck. They're not ducks. It's really, really cold. Christmas penguins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't write these. <laughs> <laughs> that well-known, that well-known animal. Christmas it was penguin. penguins at Christmas. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, woo, 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 woo. Is it a gay ghost? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be ooh. <laughs> 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 A camp police siren? Sort of. A fire engine? Less so. <laughs> Less so. <laughs> so between a fire engine and a police car. Um, an ambulance. <laughs> How is it ambulance between the two? <laughs> yeah, so I, I tried to do that. Okay, so that's a siren. Uh-huh. Oh, what, what's it doing? It's calling the gays to it. <laughs> No. That would want to get me. The gay Woo! pirate. <laughs> I don't know. It's a police chase. Okay, you gotta butch it up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, my head's very high up here. Um, 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 um. <laughs> yeah, do, do it again. Very, very tall. Nom, 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 nom. I've got a lot of girth in my neck. Nom, 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 nom. That, that would be a giraffe. Nom, 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 nom. A giraffe eating ass. No. Of another giraffe. <laughs> it's, it's got a tall neck. Oh, okay. Nom, 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 a nom. Giraffe nom. eating a tree. Yes, yes, a, a, a giraffe eating leaves. Oh, leaves, right. Yes. Okay. Um, I love you. I love you. I, ooh! I've, I love you. Ooh, prairie dog! Ah! Is it my dad? No. I love you, I love you. Ooh, prairie dog! Ah! Um, is it... Is it, is it, is it, um, what are those, what are those little, those meerkats? Is it a meerkats getting excited because it's in a sort of, prairie dog? Um, Let's do shots. No, let's not do shots. Let's do shots. An alcoholic? Uh, close. A drunk meerkat. Oh, a drunk meerkat. Okay. <laughs> what is this game? This is the producer's mind. <laughs> I think you'll get this one. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, what a lovely boat. The owl and the pussycat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll, you'll get this one. This one's dead easy. Um, um. We're walking in the air. Oh, you see that that walking in snow. Yes. <laughs> not not chomping on a dick as I as I originally <laughs> thought. <laughs> no, that, that's more. Like, Okay. I run uh, really, really quickly. Is it? Is it? Is it? Jurassic Park. There were there were some of the main cast. Uh, um, uh, um, a, 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 a Velociraptor. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> Prickly, oh, but so much fun. I'm on my own. I'm prickly, but fun. Prickly, but fun, and you're on your own? Yeah. Um, a hedgehog? Sort of. An, a, a porcupine? A lonely porcupine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shrubbery looks really sexy. I don't know. A hedgehog. A hedgehog, a horny hedgehog. Yes, a horny hedgehog. A horny yes. hedgehog. I don't like being inside the producer's <laughs> mind. Neither do I. It's not good. <laughs> it's slightly concerning. Ruff, 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 ruff. Is it a dog singing the beginning of Queen's 
We will rock you. Do 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 No. A dog. A dog with hiccups. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so glad we didn't get to the next one. It's not going to be too long before we have the highlight of our life lesson. But before that, we've got the showbiz with Lee. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go headlong and ankle deep, oh, that's flexible, into the world of showbiz with Lee. Celebrities, mm. they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Up our bums and in our hair. What? I don't know if they are. <laughs> <laughs> up our bums and our hair. <laughs> yeah, up our bums and in, yeah, yeah, just your head hair. It could be any hair. I threw in my back hair. I've got Gemma Collins in my pubes at the moment. It's really, really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, television. Mm. It's a big feature in our lives, isn't it? It's a very big feature <laughs> in our lives. Yeah, yeah all the time. All just the watching time. us, watching us, watching it, watching us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so with this, the, now this has already been on the televisual box. Mm -hmm. I haven't managed to watch it yet. I don't know if you've managed to watch it. It's um, the new Russell T Davies drama, It's a Sin, mm. which automatically I want to sing, It's a Sin, do -do 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 -do, by the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> Could you do it in tune? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. So, you know, whatever. So, yeah. So, yes. um, this is the kind of like his latest. Um, opus, which is set in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. It's set in London, although a lot of it was filmed in Manchester. It was indeed, yeah. Um, and it's all about kind of like the gay community in the 80s with the onset of HIV and AIDS and how it's uh, how it Im impacted on people. Mm -hmm. um, it has um, ye years and years singer Ollie Alexander. It does indeed. Yes. In it. It's five parts. Mm -hmm. It's also got people like Stephen Fry in there. Mm -hmm. Neil Patrick Harris, the American guy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a picture here of the... That's... Um, Russell T Davies in the middle yep. with some of the young cast. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, 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 it's, it's tipped to be, it says, heartwarming and heartbreaking in equal measures. Mm -hmm. That's the best kind of telly. I think that is the best kind of telly. And of course it also stars a friend of the show, Nathaniel Hall. Um, who we've had on the show a number of times. Yeah, yeah and who awesome. last year he released his book it version. Is. We've got a picture of it. He released his book version of his one man stage show, mm -hmm. which I went to see in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. In those times when we were allowed to leave. <laughs> allowed to leave and yeah. do things yeah. and be in the clothes. So, spaces. yeah, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm really excited about watching it. Because partly I want to watch to see what bits of Manchester I recognise. Mm -hmm. And also, I like a Russell T. I like a Russell T. Davis programme. Me too. And you, of course, you'll be able to look back in it and see if that's accurate as a portrayal from the 80s, won't you? I was a child in the 80s. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Go watch it. Yeah, definitely do, because it is a good watch. Yeah, yeah. And we'll probably review it again in, in, a, in another episode when, when I've watched it. And <laughs> when you can be bothered to yeah, watch it. Yeah, when I can be bothered Now, you're into your superheroes, aren't you? I do like a superhero. Yeah. Yes. Well, apparently... Men in tights. Please. And tights. Yeah, men in tights. Superheroes, men in tights. Yeah, so men in tights, so Robin Hood also. Yeah. Okay. Got a very pronounced bulge. The ones I've seen. Historical. Yeah, yeah. Um, Marvel have confirmed mm -hmm. that Guardians of the Galaxy's Star-Lord is bisexual. Yes. Mm. Good news. It's like, yeah. So, not the actual film franchise have confirmed that, but the comics. Comics have. Do they call them comics or do you call them, or you call them graphic novels? I call them comics, but apparently they're called graphic novels. Graphic novels, if you're, if you're in the know. Yeah. yeah. I think so, the difference is if it's hardback, it's a graphic novel. It's not a book? But yeah, it's still a comic book though, isn't it? Okay. Okay. So in the... Yeah. I don't even know who these people are. I, I, I watch it to have a pervert men in tight like, <laughs> like, pants, yeah. Pretty much. Chris Hemsworth walking around with a cape on and takes his top off. Well, okay. You wouldn't want to okay. watch that. So in the film, Chris Pratt mm -hmm. plays Star-Lord. Um, so yeah, so in, in the actual comic book or the graphic novel, um, the... Star Lord dude mm -hmm. has been trapped for almost 150 years on a planet called Morinus. Not Morinus. <laughs> Morinus. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so he lives with two humanoid beings. We've got a, kind of like a picture of Ooh. the um, comic book there. Um, so there's a female named Aradia 
and, and a male named Moores. Okay. And then after the first sort of like 12 years of just like living together, you know, hello, you're all right. Um, <laughs> Because that's how <laughs> that's how they live together. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, you um, he enters into a polyamorous relationship with the pair. Ooh. Oh, takes him twelve years. Twelve years, yeah, to get that. Trapped on it. No, he trapped on a yeah. Quick. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 in one of the scenes, there's a there's a, a depiction of an intimate moment where he says, it's been over a decade. Oh, oh, over a decade. Over a decade. Is, <laughs> is that Gemma Collins sneaking out from your pubes again? She just parted them. <laughs> Popped out. <laughs> <laughs> through the thicket. <laughs> the, through the bush down under. Um, he says, it's been over a decade. Time to accept the truth. Morinus is my home. You're my home. That's oh. deep, isn't it? More angry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no sort of news as to whether or not this... Um, will be incorporated into the film franchise. Okay. Or not. Well, I, I can incorporate it into my dreams. So it's okay. <laughs> Your fantasies. Yeah. Um, so, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, mm -hmm. uh, I think has kind of recorded and been filmed, but there's no release date. Um, there is, you know, Chris Pratt, he kind of, what are you laughing at? <laughs> release, sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the word release made me chuckle. Uh, Chris Pratt, he's not. He's not the best ally, is he, really? Mm, no. So we're not sure whether or not... I'd like to think he would do... I, I think they should make him. Make him do it. Make him do a nude scene. Make him go to Moranus... Yes. ...and have a threesome. Yes. That, that, there you go. That's also, your, that's your yeah. month of uh, fantasy sorted there. That, that's me sorted for the rest of the show. <laughs> so there you go. You know, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Hollywood needs to catch up and kind of reflect what happens in the kind of... But when people are stuck on planets for 120 years. Yeah, and then finally, yeah. after 12 <laughs> years, it goes, all right then. All right then. I'll put it in you as well. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's done there. Is that what they call a spit roast? Spit roast is where you get a, like a chicken or a piece of beef and put it on a spit. Oh. And you put it over a fire. Oh, thank you. Turn it around. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right, okay. So, moving on to... so. We're still in lockdown. People on the internet have taken up all... We've seen people making banana bread. Mm -hmm. We've seen them making... What's porn. that? The, what? Porn. I know a lot porn. of people have started making porn. Okay. You? No. No. I get uh, away for free. I'm not going to make anybody <laughs> out of that. What's the, what's the bread that you put in like a tube and then feed it and um, make it live? What's that? Sourdough? Yeah! yeah <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then there's the, the whole ticky tocky thing where people like do the. Da, 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 that thing. Yeah. Uh, well, this. <laughs> I will get there eventually. This lady mm -hmm. on the internet, yeah. she has been knitting things, knitting people, not actual real people. <laughs> She's not been knitting flesh. <laughs> Together. <laughs> it's a lovely scarf. Um, I've made of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> your intestines. No, she, she, she knits celebrities, versions of celebrities. Right. <laughs> Let's just have some pictures. I've, so, <laughs> so. I've got this image of her standing over a well going, um, it puts the lotion on the skin, on its skin or it gets a balaclava again. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of mittens. Yeah. Um, so we have a picture. So, so here we have, we have her version of Patsy. Okay. From Abfab. That, I quite like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we've got Patsy from Abfab. Next one. I want to see who you think it is. Who, so, well, it's West got a big name on, on it. <laughs> <laughs> that bit little bit creepy in the face. Uh, Do you not it, think? It looks a bit like Alan Sugar were being told in the gallery. But... Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next up, we have... <laughs> 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 it's Whitney. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know whether it's dead Whitney. I think it's dead Whitney. <laughs> I think that's a, a, what she looks like now. <laughs> oh, she has nothing. Nothing. Nothing but drop seams. Oh, <laughs> I spent ages on that joke and it was awful. <laughs> it you was didn't awful. laugh at all. Um, this is the best one. Oh, it's Patrick Stewart. As, as Professor... Xavier. Xavier. And it's and written on the screen. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So she's put a little quote, and he's even in a little knitted, knitted wheelchair. It's not going to go very far, though, is it? <laughs> knitted wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh yeah. So you know, she's she's you know, she just all sorts of celebrities, dead ones, <laughs> alive, alive ones. ones. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very very expensive, though. Very expensive. Really. So I couldn't afford to get us our own versions of um, knitted us 
So I've made some. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so the amount of wool that they need for us. Well, they? yeah. You know? <laughs> Not enough sheep in the world. Well, um, so, yeah, I, I made us our own little, little version okay. of each other. So... Um, Would you like to hold Why it up? Why do I have a rash? You, you don't have a rash, it's your, it's your, it's your beard. Why? See, I, when I made it, I couldn't remember whether you would shave your beard off or you still have your beard. So I kind of went for an in-between. <laughs> you couldn't remember whether I'd shaved this off? No, I couldn't. You know, it's been a while, it's been a week. Um, so yeah, but the good thing about them is I have provided you with some pins. So it's, now, it's no longer a, a doll, it's now a poppet. A poppet? Poppet. But no, get get one of your pins. Yeah. Right. If I st no, we have to swap, don't we? Because if I stick it in, there, <laughs> yeah. I'm hurting myself. You are, yeah. Yeah. So these are puppets then. Well, they're kind of like dolls that we're going to stick pins in. Yeah. Yeah. That that's puppets. So so if I just ah! oh yeah, it works. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Try. Stick it in yourself. No, he's not. I'm right. just going to be just sat here for a little while. Just going to sit there for a little while. Just sit there for a little while. <sighs> That's the end of the showbiz news. Uh, oh, thank you, Lee. Um, coming soon, we have our next live lesson. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to give it to him, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give it to him, baby. And all the cuts to say he's pretty fly for a white guy. It's Mike in the buzz. Hello, yeah, yeah, no, I know. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see if he knows. I've got um, the early 90s on for you. They want the song back. Can't have it. <laughs> I didn't think they could. It's actually the name of my Wi-Fi. Pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. Pretty fly for a Wi-Fi? Yeah. I, w yeah, I was going to say pretty fly for a gay guy. But I, you know, your glow off you is, is, <laughs> is undeniable today. <laughs> you saying I'm glowing? <laughs> <laughs> like the moon. Like the moon. <laughs> yeah, so during the break we were talking about these dolls that you made. Yeah. Right, and I want to know why you've got a, a rainbow on your bottom. Look at poop rainbows. Okay. Yeah. I got a spare rainbow sticker and I thought, oh, what should I do? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to stick it on my backside. Put it in my booty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. Anyway. Um, so I've been having a bit of a dig around the internet this week. And I found a couple of good stories. Okay. Now this one's a bit of a heartwarming story. Ooh. Because I thought, you know, it's, it's that time of, of January. It's still not payday. Let, let's, let's warm our cockles a little. Um, <laughs> And that's the story about um, the gentleman who was a cleaner mm -hmm. and invented flaming hot Cheetos. Okay. okay. Um, and so what happened was the CEO of the, um, the potato chip company, I shall say, Mondelez, um, said, we need some ideas. And this guy that was cleaner said, what you need is you need something really hot and spicy. And so I got a Cheeto and covered it in his own spice mix and like sealed the bags up and presented them. His own spice mix. His own spice mix, yeah. Okay. Not spice as in what you smell going around the city centre. You oh, go, oh no, what no. are you doing there? Okay. Spice as in like flaming hot food, like okay. chili. Yes. yes. Paprika. Paprika. <laughs> that, that well known hot spice <laughs> paprika. <laughs> <laughs> or if you me, salt. <laughs> salt. Yeah. Ooh, too spicy. <laughs> too spicy. Um, but it literally went up to the CEO. He's now worth $20 million, this guy. That invented oh, right. Flaming Hot How long ago did he invent Flaming Hot Cheetos? 1970s. Okay, so that's quite a long time <laughs> that's ago. Quite a long time ago, yeah. I was kind of thinking they're not a new thing. They're not a new thing. <laughs> Is that when we're getting on news? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find. <laughs> I couldn't find <laughs> anything. Well, that's the 1970s. So went to before, before Twitter was invented. Okay. To find some tweets. Oh, right. Okay. Um, hey. But no, it's a story, it's a rag to riches story. Yeah. Well um, done, him. Well done him. So if anyone has a spare 15, 20 minutes, go and have a read of the story. It really is heartwarming because he couldn't read or write. Oh, right? you know, so now I feel bad. Yeah, he was an immigrant to America. Oh. Um, basically had to, to work his way up and he worked his way into a cleaner. And he just saw oh, this opportunity okay. and went for it. I've, I've never eaten a Flaming Hot Cheeto. We never had a Flaming Hot Cheeto? No, I don't like the idea of them. They're, they're what's -its. Yeah, but really burny hot. Have you never had a spicy what's -it? No. What about the crisps? 
<laughs> I enjoy a spicy knickknack. Ribbon spicy. Oh. Mm. I see Nick Nick. I didn't invent them, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought you'd have invented that. Um, they're basically just twigs, aren't they, Nick Nicks? Yeah, crunchy. Yeah. Okay. Shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the next story is, is a little bit, a little bit less heartwarming. Oh. Um, and this is about a gentleman who voted leave in Brexit, oh. right, and was dismayed and appalled when his deliveries wouldn't get through. Oh, didn't think it through. Didn't think it through. Um, he voted leave, <laughs> um, but he's got, he had 10,000 sex asses um, stuck at Calais. 10,000 what? Sex asses. Sex asses. I can't say it, I'll burn. Sex asses. Sex asses. Oh, okay. It's silicone. Silicone booties. Yes, that's okay. a nice way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do want to say so like rubber Love asses. booties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, has he got them now? He's got them now. Uh, does he use them all for himself? <laughs> <laughs> He's very, very rampant. He's very, he, he likes a new sexy love bomb every day. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Oh, so they're for him to sell to, to, to he people? Se he, sell, he sells, he runs a sex shop. Well, several sex shops. Several, because there's a lot of bums <laughs> for one a sex lot. shop. <laughs> Bums are us. Um, <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, um, he said he voted for Brexit because he wanted uh, a world of exporting to be open oh, to him. And, and now his artists are stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he wanted to, to make sure that he had lots of openings to sell his products. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. openings what? and bums and stuff. I, you know, <laughs> he could use them as like bike parks, couldn't he? He could put them on the floor and people could park the bikes. Betwixt the cheeks. They're not, 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 they're not very cheeky. Oh, can you not part them? <laughs> no, they're, they're just small. Have, oh. have you never seen a flashlight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just, it, it's, it's a big chunk of silicone mm -hmm. with a hole in. Yeah. Right, and then a, like a tunnel through. Okay. So these have butt cheeks. Yes, but they're not massive butt cheeks. No. They're not like a, an actual bottom. Not like an, oh, right, okay. And then a bum you hole. Oreo. And then a bum hole. Okay. You pop, your, pop your goods into. Yeah, whatever you want to put in there. Yes, like pens. Yeah. Oh, pen holders. Pen holders, that's yeah. what you could be doing with have them. Have it on the side when you're cooking and you can put your wooden stick, your wooden stick. Wooden stick. <laughs> <laughs> wooden spoon. <laughs> wooden spoon in it, yeah. Yeah, you, you could do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's lots of options. Well, yeah. So if, if you get given one for Christmas, you know what you can do with it. Sit on it. Mm. <laughs> Not gonna work. <laughs> Just smushing. You can put it on your face like that. <laughs> <laughs> you might like, no, I don't know. I'm trying to be inclusive here because you might not just want to stick something in it. Uh-huh. You might be a person that likes to, likes to, to, to enjoy the, the flavor of a, of a bomb. Are you talking really? <laughs> I don't know if we were allowed to say that on the show. Yeah. I'd put like... <laughs> I'm not going there. I'd put Nutella in it. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh no, yum. Nutella's dangerous. What? Because then not... you won't know until it's too late. If you on, a, on, a, on a fake oh, bum, you would. All oh, right, yeah, on a fake yeah. bum, yeah, it's fine. Fake bums don't do real, real poos. <laughs> fake bums can we, don't can we... do real poos. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, with coronavirus, everybody's like talking about, you know, people not wearing masks and, you know, how they're, they're deciding that maybe the vaccine isn't for them. And they're, they're people's choices. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to make that choice. I might disagree with you, but you're allowed to make that choice. Um, Doncaster Council shared a story to say, maybe don't just go with what everybody thinks is a quick solution, um, where they shared um, a story about in, in November 1970, officials in Oregon decided to blow up a rotting whale carcass to get rid of it. Okay. So what happened was they were talking about, if you're going out into, into public, yeah, and you want to do the, the right thing, right? Don't it's blow gonna up take, a whale carcass. It's gonna take time, okay. yeah? So don't go for the quick fix. <laughs> what are you laughing at? One, I'm glad we're going back to the 70s for something current. <laughs> yeah. Well, Two, Doug I'm shared struggling it with... to, to see what blowing a whale carcass <laughs> So it's... it's, it's... <laughs> so in the 1970s, Oregon, they had a, a beached whale that died, right? And there were options to just let it rot away and that okay. sort of thing. And instead they went, no, 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 let's just blow it up. Okay. Get it done, blow it up. 
Yeah. Yeah. So they blew it up. And then the whale crap. And then everywhere. lots lots of bits of whale went everywhere. Okay. And caused a bigger mess. Yes, I'm with I'm, I'm yeah. with that. I'm so it's about it. about if you're coming out of lockdown, don't go too quick. Do it slowly. Yeah. Be careful. Think about things. Yes. Yes. That's what they was going for. Don't blow whales up. Don't blow a whale up is what, what we're saying here. That's how you beat coronavirus. Don't blow up whales. Give it a blow job, yes. but don't blow it up. <laughs> and what a whale penis is called? Dongs. 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 <laughs> and if you see something that's covered in sparkles, maybe it makes you titter, or maybe even a little bit rude, why not share it with us? Just give us a tag using the Could TV on all of your social media services. We read every email, post, tweet, or comment. So as the prostitute's motto says, Keep them coming. And that brings us to the story of the week. And this is about a gentleman who has changed his name after a couple of drinks. A couple of drinks. A couple of drinks. So, <laughs> if, if you were to change your name, what would you change your name to? Regina Banana Hammock. Friends reference. Mm -hmm. From the 90s. Yeah. Current. More than the 70s. <laughs> yeah, it is right. <laughs> a gentleman um, has changed his name to Celine Dion. I like it. Yeah, I thought you might. Yes. Um, so he woke up in the morning going, what's all this thing I found on my computer? Why am I 80 quid lighter? Oh, it's because you've changed your name to Celine Dion. And he wasn't mad about it because he's a massive Celine fan, right? And has kept it. Is he just, does he just go by Celine Dion? Yeah. Mr. Celine Dion? Mr. Celine Dion, yeah. Okay, not like Mr. Celine Joseph. No, it's Dion. Celine, he's oh, changed okay. his full name to Celine, Celine Dion. Dion. Oh, okay. And, and, and is he, so he's happy with that? He's happy with that, yeah. Oh, is, just, is, she, is, is Miss Dion aware that somebody... Is Miss Dion aware that someone's stolen her name? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think she is. Oh. I, um, I think she, I, he has tweet, been tweeting her. He's been tweet, desperately tweeting <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah, going, look how big a fan I am. I changed my name. Oh. Well, you know, he, he clearly was drunk all night. Mm -hmm. That was a... Slip to get to you, yeah. yeah. And that's all we have for the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I think I might change my name to Gemma Collins. Mm. Will that not be a bit confusing with the Dan in your bush already? Anyway, coming up next, we have one of our life lessons. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Curd. And now it's time for this week's Life lessons. So this week, I thought we, we'd take a, a trip down the, the world of RuPaul. Because, of course, we're, we're partway through season 13 America. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the UK version as well mm -hmm. started. So I thought we, we should beat some faces. Okay. That's, that's not literally beat them. No, I don't mean like smack you around a bit. Yeah. No, I mean as in do makeup. Oh. I was going to say we should do it on each other. But yeah, social distancing, not allowed. I don't so, like to be touched either. Well, you do. Well, below the waist. Yeah. How is Gemma? She's she's sleeping at the moment. She's sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Nussled in. She, yeah. All curled up. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so we're go, we're going to do some some makeup on faces. Oh, I love I love watching a makeup tutorial <laughs> do you, on YouTube. Well, that's good because you do because you're going to be able to to do this really well, aren't yeah. You? Well, I thought I'd make it a little bit challenging. Oh, no, not blindfolded. Oh, no, not blindfolded. Oh, okay. But we're not allowed to move the heads from this position. Oh. So we have to do it this way round. Can I not, can I not turn the head round? No. Oh. Not turn the head round. You have to do it from, from here. So by feel. Oh, I'm sad now because I, I was going to really do a really lovely face. <laughs> <laughs> Were you really? Uh, oh, you, you still can do. Crack on when you're ready. Oh, crack on when you're ready. Crack right, on when no, you're ready. No given time. Well, well we, we've, we've got a few minutes. Okay. So, right, okay. Um, I'm, I'm so, going to go... Oh, okay. I'm, a, I'm applying powder to start oh, with. All right, because so, it's not obviously, it's not a real face. It's not a real face, no. No. Um, um, no see, I know about these things because watch, I've watched... <laughs> you've watched things. a lot of <laughs> tutorials. So, the pressed powder you don't use until the end. Do you not? No. Because right. um, the colour that you've got is actually the same colour as the hair. <laughs> so, <laughs> it makes okay. no difference. Um, so, so what should I be doing first then? Um, I would do a bit of contouring. A bit of contouring? Yeah. So that's the nose and stuff, isn't it? Cheeks. Cheeks. Cheeks and nose. Cheeks. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of... Ooh. 
No, I've, I, I was going to use a brush, but I'm, I'm going to use my finger instead. I'm going to do a bit of contouring. Right, let's do cheeks. I, can't, I, can do, I can see a little bit this side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's, like, it's just trying to do it. It's just to Cause, yeah, make it um, I like to watch Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel? Yeah. Oh. Her, so when, you, when you're she, doing a Trixie one then? Yeah, well, because, um, yeah, she does um, how to do her face. Oh, that, that must yeah. be good. And because um, she has her own range of makeup. Really? Yeah. Oh. Something I didn't know. I mean, it's not subtle. It's not. It, <laughs> <laughs> Trixie Mattel's makeup not subtle. It's not, it's, you know, subtle makeup. Yeah. I know, but, I know you have to do something in the chin as well, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. underneath, because you because you wanna if you if you're a bit jowly, uh -huh. then you need to you need to um, minimise your jowls with makeup. Like you know, you've gone for a very masculine fair head, haven't you? You've gone for a strong. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's drag. Yeah, you've gone for a strong jawline. Strong jawline, yeah. Yeah. Um, you have to do something underneath as well. I'm going to try and go a little bit more natural than you are. Yeah, you're going to go for natural. I think I'm doing natural as well. I'm doing like 1970s. To be fair, it just looks like I'm smearing excrement <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a face. Hell. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ABBA. You're going to go ABBA? Yeah. I'm going to go ABBA with my, my colour pal palette. I don't know whether to draw eyes on first. Uh, draw, draw eyes on first. Draw, draw eyes, eyes on, first. on first. Yeah, because it's got no eyes. Well, it has got eyes. Yeah, but, but not actual defined eyes. <laughs> that's an eye. <laughs> Is it really? And that's an eye. <laughs> I think you'll say that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, go for the Agnetha. Agnetha? Agnetha? How do we say her name? Uh, who? From ABBA, the blonde one. Anita? Anita? No, there was Anita. Ag Producer, he, he's a very big ABBA fan. What was the blonde one called? Agnetta. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going for that colour palette. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> See, I've got eyes now. There we go. Because they, they did like blue, didn't they? They did blue. I said I was going to do blues, but I don't think I'll do I think I'll do natural. Because I think I'm doing a very natural look for mine. That's beautiful. I like a shimmer. I like a shimmering you like highlight. A shimmer. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really working a with, like, the, um, with the... Lionel Richie, to be fair. Doing hello. Was it him that did hello? What? Lionel Richie? Yeah, did the touching of face and... Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. It was... But his was... Um, um, I don't think Clay, that's... wasn't it? It was a clay... Is it... I don't think he head. used polystyrene, no. You're not allowed to use polystyrene now? No, I don't think he used polystyrene, is what I said. <laughs> there we go. I, th I think... You know what? I think the... The natural was just a little bit too subtle, so I'm going for... I need some brows. I'm assuming that is where a brow would go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that is where a brow would go. <laughs> oh, I'm actually, I've got quite pretty spot on there. Um, you've got a lip liner, and you've also got lipstick. So yeah, because what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to line your lips first. You do your lips, you line your line lips Line your first. lips first right. with um, the lip liner. Okay. <laughs> I find if you exaggerate your lips, <laughs> <laughs> and they tend, what they tend to do is whatever colour your, your lip liner is, mm -hmm. you go for either a lighter lipstick or a darker lipstick, so that the lip liner... <laughs> so you don't really... So the lip liner just stands out. a different colour to your... Yeah. Right. I'm going for this. I think it's, this colour is... Because uh, they do things like this, they go, they go. Oh, this is my new range of, of lipstick. Um, uh -huh. This is... Um, I'm just going to hold it up for you to see. This is, um, this is a Misty Buff. Misty Buff. Misty Buff. Oh. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give a him. It's going to feel for his lips. That's a sentence I haven't said for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm enjoying this. Beauty skill dropout. I, I don't think we'd drop out. I think we'd we'd, we'd ace it. Nice colour. Um, <sighs> Okay, where's the lid gone for me lippy? Oh, I've lost, I've lost. Please, me lippy lip gone. Need to put lashes on as well. Oh, you, yeah, oh, eyelashes, yeah. If you, you're not got eyelashes on, you're not really. Wet. Are these, are these, okay. are these two O ones? 
Mike's moving his head! <laughs> I, think I, oh. I don't think it went subtle enough, to be fair. Oh, that's managed to stay on. Go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm um, excited to put that. And then you say that you've got to put powder on on top of the makeup. Yeah, that 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 cooks it. That cooks it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh my eyebrush. Made my eyelash fall off this one. I might use. I might use a bit of lipstick and perhaps draw a love heart in the middle of its head there, like that. Um. <laughs> Oh, and we've got to put wigs on as well. Uh, it needs, yeah, it needs some, it's some hair. It needs to put a weave on as well. And then. I don't even know which way that wig's supposed to go on, you know. <laughs> oh, that is, oh, do I, and I can't, oh. Sorry, I'm just gonna spritz it. <laughs> I did come prepared. I didn't know we were doing this. But you know, I always, I always, have, a, <laughs> you always, I always have, have a wig in my bag, a wig in just in case. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay, I, th I think I'm done. Do, so did we turn them around? Yes. I've been out with him. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at mine. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> they're, they're, oh, 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 he's lost his weave. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think that the um, the drag community need Need worry. to worry. No, I, don't, no. I think I think they're pretty safe too. What what name are you going to go for for your your drag queen, drag head? Um, Ivana. Just Ivana. Ivana Cockatoo. Oh, okay. That, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just going to go for Marjorie. <laughs> Marjorie. Marjorie. What though? Marjorie Sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you go. <laughs> we have come to the end of the show for now. But if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on your social media channels. The Cud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive outtakes and clips. And just like the deflated balloon left at the end of the solo lockdown birthday party, we have just enough time to bring you the fruit of the week, which is... Stay safe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.